Tubers. I'm going to show you how to break into your Greenwald coin vault in three minutes. These things are built very, very tough. They're designed in a way as that you can't really get into them from the back, the top, or underneath. So you can't unbolt this assembly, take it off your washer or dryer and get into it. It's not going to work. Okay? You're not going to get these case hardened bolts out very easily as well. You, it's it's going to be a real pain in the ass to get those out. You're going to have to use special bits. These are case hardened and they, they mean it. That's some pretty gnarly stuff. But what you can do is you can go in through the lock itself. And this is what I did. Like I said, it took me three minutes for each one of these. Okay. So basically, you have this little slot here that protects the lock. Okay. So people can't get in and try to twist it or drill into it. Okay. So what I did is I went and I took my screwdriver and I just went back and forth on it, okay? And I wallered it out so I could get my drill bit through there, okay? Very easy to do. Then the next thing I did is I had a quality Matco drill bit from my Matco set of drill bits. These are good bits, okay? I put it in there like so. This sat and spun, okay? I use about medium RPM. I didn't go very fast. You don't need to go fast. You just ruin your bit. And you push it in, and it'll get into your lock assembly. And then all you do is keep the drill steady and straight and level, and then you will feel that you're actually drilling into it, and you can see some shavings come out. This, this process only takes literally two, three minutes, okay? What's going to happen then, you're going to break through. The, the drill is just going to push right in into your coin box, just like that. It'll just feed it right in. And what you did at this point is you basically drilled out the back of the lock, okay? See this right here? And you basically drilled through the lock and drilled this back piece up. Now, it'll unlock on its own. These cams will move and they will release. So what you do is you just take the drill and everything and just pull it on out like there. And there's your coins. Now, yes, you are gonna have to replace the, the lock mechanism and you are going to have to get a new set of keys. They're on the internet. They're really not that expensive. Um, on the bottom of your Greenwald box, it'll tell you what series it is. This is a UG800A series. I don't know if you can read that. And you can buy the, the whole complete box with a lock and key already installed. Or you can take this apart unsandwich the lock mechanism here and install a new lock with a new key. Okay. My local locksmith, when I actually could find, I kind of live out here in the country. So when I actually could find a locksmith that wanted to take this job on, he wanted $60 a pe uh, um, per machine because he said it was going to take an hour to get into each box. Okay. That's a joke. Absolute joke. So he wanted $60 a piece per box and then the price of the lock assembly and the keys, plus labor to install that. So you don't need to do it, guys. Just open it up. It's no big deal. These are very easy to break into. Now, you couldn't do this in a laundry mat or something, and I don't condone that kind of action, but I own these machines. My set of keys were stolen, and therefore uh, I need to get into my, my coin boxes. These were filling up. And uh, what is there? There's probably about 110 bucks worth of quarters in there. You know what? I would have had to give that damn locksmith both coin boxes full of quarters. I'm glad I didn't listen to him. They said, ah, you can't drill it out. Well, you can. Under three minutes. All right, man. Thanks for watching. Got to go.